draw the cavalry using this terrain, the trees left and right, and draw the cavalry off. If they don't, if the cavalry come in, then potentially we can come in around the back of that with our cavalry and, and start causing disruption from the, from the rear of that. The river is not crossable, so they're not able to get round behind us from that point, so we have a number of clear defensive points if we can draw them on. So you're absolutely in position and you're waiting for something to happen? Yeah. Yes, we are. It's like a stakeout, oh, yeah, isn't right. it? <laughs> it is. I don't think Cliff needs any input from us here. <laughs> I think Cliff knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Claire, Steve, how are we doing in terms of making it reality? Well, at the moment, we've got a bit of... Got... I think the enemy's about to make it reality. They're moving. Yep. Cliff. They're moving. Ah, they're coming on. Tired of waiting, the impetuous General Varro forces the battle. The largest Roman army in history begins to advance on Hannibal's outnumbered troops. That's quite a frightening force coming out. It is. Seventy-six thousand furious citizens of Rome are set on revenge. Oh, here they come. Here comes the freight train. The Romans are just rolling forward about heavy inevitability. Oh, look at them come. Claire, Steve, yes. they are coming straight in line, exactly as we hope. So at the moment, we've got Nothing changing. Right. Where are the pikes going to be positioned, Steve? At the moment, we've got one on the right flank behind the cavalry and one on the left flank to flank them. What now do we have in the middle? We have infantry with, with spears, but not, not with poles. Right. So we can put spears in if we need to. And the issue is to try and draw them as far on as we can. And now either one, they're going to have to disrupt and go through trees, or they're going to have to most probably come behind. Right. So the further we can draw them on, yeah. The better. Plus, all the time they're getting tired of. Yeah. So are we ready to advance ours then? No, keep them drawing. Right. We ain't in a hurry. Alright. Let them wear themselves out. Like we're calm under pressure. Cliff, aren't you? Your lieutenants are saying, should we advance? And you're saying, no, it's fine. Draw them on. Yeah. You're sure you've got the right strategy? Well, I'm just thinking, this is August. It's the end of a long, hot day. We have some very heavy armour. Um, let them do all the work. Let them get tired going across there. Cliff is relying on the weather to slow down the Roman advance. But the Romans are marching at a steady pace, conserving their energy for the battle to come. It's the infantry that's going to win. The infantry are like a machine. You get them, get them going, and the, the heavy infantry will just go grinding on ahead. Whereas the cavalry require a bit more judgment. The cavalry are just there to protect their flanks for long enough to allow them to win. But Cliff's still not convinced he's got the right troops in the right place to challenge the oncoming Romans. Steve, Claire, I'm not quite sure who's controlling what, but there's also a suggestion with Sarah as to whether or not, as we draw them back, we put the pikemen at the front. Unless we put give them something to look at, they're going to... Because the pikemen are there, because they've got big, Go. big long things, they can stab horses, and the ones that don't stab, you can send the cavalry after. Once again, Sarah spotted the strength of her key troops, but will her male colleagues acknowledge her input? Did you hear that, Steve, in terms of pikes? Come. The pike men are there because they've got big sticks and they can stab the horses, and then the soldiers all fall off, and you can attack them with your infantry man and have a second wave of cavalry. I was thinking about having, having a, a line across the centre so they've actually got something to advance against yes. and then pull those back. Yes. Yeah. So there's a lot of portion. And they're got, they're, they hopefully will be the infantry that are advancing through that middle. Cliff, do you think you would have been stuck if you'd been Hannibal himself? He doesn't have all of these gizmos to help fight the battle. Communication is obviously the big mm. thing. It, it, it was the problem then, it's a problem now. Communication yes, is the real issue, particularly once the battle starts. It's kind of glorified CCTV, isn't it? It is, yeah. I mean, this is yeah. brilliant. We tend to try and use it with... Uh, we can sell you this. Helicopter and things like that. Yeah, yeah, it'd be good. They're on their way. Falling for the team's bait, the Roman horsemen split from their flanks and race to engage with Hannibal's cavalry. Everything is going according to the team's plan, and the first engagement of the new Battle of Cannae is about to begin. These cavalry 
we've gone round. Oh, we have some come round on the flat. Can we just see what they're doing on this side? Steve, Pikeman. To Cliff's delight, it's all falling into place. There are a lot of dead Roman horses on the yeah. field. The New Lydians have been doing that stuff. Yeah. So the Roman legionary cavalry are already showing just how crap they were. We can start using them in the same respect from that point of view. We can go up and, and, and try and get a, a view on the right hand side. After a brilliant tactical triumph on the left, Cliff's attention shifts to his right flank. The Numidian horsemen more than hold their own against the Romans. The team have made a great start, successfully neutralizing any threat from the Roman cavalry. Claire's got her horses well under control. I'm also thinking about the left-hand side, where we've got them now encroaching. Well, we've got a, we've got a lot of officers. Can we come in behind them if they're not officers? Army, whatever. If Claire, if we draw the infantry into the middle, yes. can the cavalry then come round on the flank? Yes. The cliff is keeping a very clear battlefield picture. Mm -hmm. Cliff has, however, reduced Sarah to being his uh, aide de camp there. She's standing aside and holding his horse while he, he stands up at the railing and gives the orders. You are so calm. <laughs> That's external, possibly. I'm not sure about the internal part of it. The Carthaginian invaders have shot Rome with a decisive early blow on the flanks. Now, on the right, the team's key troops, the seasoned veterans of the Spanish heavy cavalry, butcher the remaining Roman horse. Leaving their agile comrades, the Numidians, to chase off the Roman stragglers. But all the while, the Roman infantry are continuing their inexorable advance. And as you watch this, what do you think? Generally, it's working to a degree. We have the pikemen there providing secondary support with the cavalry. So I think at the moment, it's, um, yeah, we're drawing it on. But, flushed with his early success, General Cliff has missed the first group of Roman infantry approaching through the trees. They threaten to outflank his central units and launch an attack from behind. If you look at the Carthaginian army, it's thin, that's it. If the Romans hit this line, they'll eventually eat through it and then what's to stop them? That's right. Hannibal knew that the Romans were going to come through. Hannibal figured out what he wanted to do when the Romans come through. Cliff is not clear on what he's going to do when that big Roman juggernaut crushes its way through his thin line. Potentially, I think we've got more troops on the left-hand side. Yes, and we have a problem on the right. And we have a problem on the right in terms of the cavalry. But Cliff still hasn't spotted the Roman infantry ambush on his right. And now his pikemen are under attack from the rear. Hand-to-hand -hand fighting going yeah, on here, but the wrong troops, I would say. Claire, Steve, we've got hand-to-hand hand on this right-hand side. But they've got long spears, so yeah. they don't put on hand-to-hand. -hand. No. No, that's it. So we need to get something to yeah. try and support that. Potentially the cavalry could do that. Pikemen are devastating from the front, but if you can get around the side, then 